All right, so the Pentagon, bless its heart, is marching off to climate war while China cheers. This is a sad tale, but a very important story. Let's talk about it with Senator Tommy Tuberville from the great state of Alabama. Senator, welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm sure you saw the editorial in the journal, but the defense contractors, the people that are making the weapons to defend this country and keep us strong and number one, so now they're going to be subject to these crazy climate restrictions, scopes one and two, which is, of course, what the weapons makers produce in carbon and uh, what kind of electricity they use. And some of them are going to be uh, under scope three, which is uh, what their customers are going to use. I'm not aware that China has any such restrictions. And I was just thinking, I don't know, we have a picture, you may not see it, this fabulous new um, uh, stealth bomber. The B-21, which I think has been uh, done by Northrop Grumman. Look at that picture. It's an unbelievable thing. It can drop bombs, nuclear weapons. It will keep us number one. So if these climate people in the Biden administration get their way, Senator, they'll have to use uh, AAA batteries to run this thing because they won't allow them to use real fuel. What you think of that? Isn't that a great idea? Oh, it's, that's unbelievable, isn't it, Larry? The, you know, our military leadership, but, you know, they're more distracted every day, Larry. Every day. They're becoming more weak, more woke. You know, we have 600 defense contractors in Alabama alone. Oh. And for them, for them to have to know what their supply chain group, whatever they sent, how their uh, uh, carbon emissions are, are uh, you know, counted uh, you know, before they get to them, the parts. And then, of course, how much emissions comes from their air conditioning units? Then they want to know how much, if you explode a bomb or shoot a gun, and, something explodes they want to know how much carbon emission comes from that you think china's worried about that mm. i mean it is absolutely amazing what this group comes up with every day i think they just lay around at night just thinking of ways to to, to screw our military up because they they are on the way to doing that i mean these are fabulous technologically advanced best in the world weapon systems that we come up with that's because we you know have treated them well uh, and um, we're not taxing them and regulating them to death. The Biden administration doesn't want that. I don't think they care about that. And this climate stuff, right, these agencies, you can go to the SEC, what do they know about climate stuff? But they are layering on scope one, two, and three. You can go now, the Federal Trade Commission wants to stop mergers. What do they know? They're not even interested in consumer welfare, which is the standard that's being used. This is all, Senator, a lot of left-wing socialist central planning with no thought to how it affects America's strength and economy. That's what drives me crazy. Exactly. And what's going to happen, Larry, is you're going to run the small defense contractor, contractor out of business. They're not going to be able to afford to do all this. And those are the ones that actually do the small work behind the scenes to make these things uh, uh, competitive. So uh, it, it's like everything else. They want to make it harder uh, for people to make a living in this country. What's going to happen is we're going to end up with four or five defense contractors and we're going to be running short, and it's, uh, it's just it's the same thing weekly. Uh, I'm on the Armed Services Committee. It's the same thing weekly we hear something that they want to do to make it more difficult for our military to be successful. Yeah, we're going to run, we're going to run the stealth bomber on batteries. I'm telling you, I've I, I got some <laughs> in my desk. I get these little batteries. Um, one other thing, I know you've been involved in the crypto crash and the FTX thing. Uh, you, on the Agriculture Committee, I guess this crazy kid, uh, uh, Bankman Freed, whatever his name is, he's going to actually appear before the House Financial Services Committee. But, <clears throat> Senator, I wanted to just propose to you, look, I am not a guy who loves regulations, okay? But I know you're looking at the uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission to regulate. I just wanted to suggest to you it may be time for a new regulatory body that knows a lot about the crypto story, both the exchanges and the actual changes in the cryptocurrency. I just worry, you know, so many people lost so much money uh, from this FTX business and this kid who's a crook and going to go to jail forever. But we probably, I mean, I, had got, I never, in my entire life, I've never proposed a new regulatory agency. But I just would put to you, maybe now's the time to start from scratch on one. Well, we got to protect the American people there. You know that. And uh, we do not need uh, these exchanges moving to other countries. Uh, 
crypto's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Now, it's had a huge setback, uh, yeah, and you might be right. We, we might need to do something where it's uh, single-handedly handled by a different group. The, the problem is right now, nine out of 10 people, Larry, couldn't explain to you what crypto is. Mm. I mean, it is, it's something that's very complex. A lot of people are, don't understand it, but they jumped out there and bought a lot of it, just thinking everybody else was getting into it and they were gonna make a lot of money. Well, guess what? They lost it all. And uh, that happens every time we have a downturn in the economy. But, uh, you know, we need to regulate it. Uh, I hate regulations myself, but we have two bills that would do something to help it, but we do not need them moving to other countries like the Bahamas or Singapore. That's where these exchanges are going. And now what's happening, Larry, is we need to start looking at China. They're coming in trying to buy our exchanges in the United States. Now they're buying all the farmland, oh. they're buying manufacturing. Oh. Now China's coming in wanting to buy our exchanges. And uh, you know where we're headed when, they, when that happens. Well, can that be stopped? I mean, I, I presume CFIUS, uh, the Committee on Foreign Investment, would stop that. I mean, China's an adversary. Maybe you need legislation to stop that. There might be bipartisan. I mean, not only should they not be buying exchanges, we ought to be throwing TikTok out entirely. You know, we got rid of Huawei, the phone company that was a bunch of spies. I don't know why we don't continue. Yeah, you're exactly right. We're looking at pol policy, Larry, uh, to, to try to uh, come up with a, uh, a line of defense for China with crypto. Now, uh, as you said, it should be bipartisan. Uh, TikTok should be gone. Mm. Uh, but, you know, we don't defend ourselves. We let everything uh, overtake us before we realize it's too late. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can keep China out. We have to be the leader in, uh, in anything that has to do with our dollar. And uh, if, we, if we don't do that, we're going to end up not being the, the, the strongest in the, in the world with innovation with the dollar and monetary account. Senator, you got to go out and buy a lot of those AAA batteries. They're going to run the world, <laughs> according to the Bidens. Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama, thank you, sir, as always.